Here is uh, Donald Trump. Uh, we talked about Donald Trump being a pathological liar. Here is the most honest thing I've ever heard a politician say in this country, or even, frankly, I think anybody in the media, you know, like in the in the mainstream media, I don't think I've heard anybody really articulate this, which is that America's policy towards Israel in this day and age, and it's been this way, I think, for about 10 to 15 years at least, is not a function of the Jewish community in this country. There are certainly uh, some very big right-wing uh, Jewish supporters of Israel in this country. But the, the real political power for Israel in this country comes from the evangelical Christian movement, and that has been building since the mid to late 70s. And, and, and Donald Trump just basically told you about it. Remember, the interesting thing about Donald Trump is when he looks at polling and when they come in and give him and they tell him like this and that, he always says the, the, the subtext of everything, and he can't help himself. Yeah. Here it is. And we move the capital of Israel to Jerusalem. That's for the evangelical. <laughs> you know, it's amazing with that. The evangelicals are more excited about that than Jewish people. That's what? Right? right? It's incredible. What? That's an ad right there. What? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, it's also it's also fascinating. He's like the evangelicals, like he says, like the blacks, the yeah. evangelicals, like he just he, he he is incapable of seeing the humanity of anyone. Right. Like everybody is just like, how does this thing help me? He's told, like, listen, this is going to really help you with the evangelicals. Exactly. And he's like, oh, OK. And he doesn't like th there's no. And I think on some level, the weird thing about it is. They like that naked honesty. Yeah. I mean, people do. It's just that, you know, I don't like uh, what he's saying because I don't like him and I don't like what, what, what you know, what the outcomes are. But um, the idea that he's being that explicit, like here, look what I'm giving you. Like, it's a very material benefit to them, uh, you know, in their worldview. And um, I, I mean, I think that, I mean, if, I, I would I would I would dip that in amber if there was a way to do that and just carry it around because that is an important dynamic to, to for for all folks in this country to realize. That's a Maybe really important thing. That guy from before, whatever his name was, Kevin or Steve or whatever the guy from DHS was, maybe he should have planted some secret strategy on Donald Trump's desk. And if he really wanted to implode the presidency, he would have gave given that. I would so imagine there would have been a, a myriad of different ways in which you could do it. But at the very least, like, you know, you can't talk about character and stick in that administration for two years. <laughs> Colin 